Hello everyone and welcome to this week's vlog. I'm currently on Zwift, doing around an hour or so, just mainly in zone 2. Uh, it's, been a, it's been a tough one this week, not because of training but because of the weather. It's been glorious, it's so so nice, but it does make training that little bit harder, particularly running. Now this week I have tried to run early morning, so waking up, getting out, and I've got to be honest with you, I just cannot do that. Well, I can, but I find it extremely hard. My body doesn't seem to want to run after just waking up. I need to be up an hour or so. It's such a struggle, but it would save me a lot of time if I was able to actually get up and run early morning, but something I need to work on. Anyway, this week's vlog, what have we got planned? Well, finally, I get to go out on the bike. Here we go. Well, here we are, guys. I'm not sure if you can hear this with the wind. It's a late, sunny Friday afternoon and we're just about to do a track session in this heat. This should be really interesting. Oh wowza, that is tough, oh Jesus, so hot, oh that was tough, that run session in this heat, right, let me try and explain to you what I did, actually no, let me find some shade, then I'll explain what I did, hmm. so now I have some shade, and some cold water I feel a lot better that was tough particularly in that heat so what's that session all about well for me I tend to do a weekly speed interval session I have been doing now for around five to six weeks and that consists of around a two mile warm-up just easy running with some dynamic stretching bouncing you know high knees that kind of thing and then I will do around four miles with and within that it's it's one times five one one times five kilometer repeats um, and each kilometer has to be run slightly quicker so I'll try and go around 10 seconds or so quicker meaning that the last kilometer is the fastest that you will run now today with that heat that's particularly hard to do so I decided to shorten that and do half a kilometre repeat. And I think I managed three intervals. Oh god, I had a mouth like a desert, like a mouth like Gandhi sandal. Ah, really tough. But I think in total the main set was just over three miles. And then I did a, a miles run at the end, just warming warming down, cooling down and now I'll have an easy ride home and chill out for the rest of the evening
Right, it's windy. Hmm. Out of all weather, wind is the one I hate the most. It just makes riding really difficult. I'd much prefer to ride in rain than wind. So we'll see how long I can endure this. I'm not going to go too far. I'm going to stay fairly local and go to a park and do some laps of that. At least then I can always bail out. Right, I'm going. Yeah? Look, Mum took the plug off my arm. Oh dear. We think I got bites. Think you got bites. Okay. Right, I'll see you later. It is incredibly windy out. Hopefully this is picking up on the camera. I just had to pull off the main road by the dock because the wind there was just horrendous. Anyway, let's carry on to Victoria Park. Okay, so I'm hoping it's a little bit less windy down here that the camera picks it up because I didn't bring the wind muff with me. Um, what do I make of the bike? Fantastic. Nice and quick. It was with those lovely wheels. Um, to be honest, I can't really give an idea of average speeds and things because I keep stopping and starting to film. And also it's so windy and the wheels do catch a little bit in the wind. They are 50 mil deep section wheels. So yeah, <laughs> it's interested on some stretches. But I'll try and cover this mic. But overall, yeah, I'm really impressed with it. You know, I can't wait to take it out on a longer ride. I am going to let you into a little secret here. This isn't the first time I've ridden this thing. I did take it out midweek for two spins. One to the track session that you saw earlier on in the video, and then a quick spin uh, during the week, I think it was Wednesday, I took it out. Now the reason I did that was to make sure it was properly working and all the parts and things were, you know, acting as they should have. Uh, and it's and it's good that you do that because you do miss things. Like I, I came, I got about 20 minutes into the ride and realised that my right shifter was a little bit loose. Uh, my seat needed adjusting. It wasn't quite high enough and there was a slight creak in the crank uh, but which they're all sorted out now because I managed to spend some time fixing those little bits and pieces and the creak in the crank was just where I needed to to put a little bit more grease on the bolts uh, but that's all sorted out now and the, the bike is working really well I'm confident in taking it out a little bit further further afield and I wanted to do a 40-50 miler today but not with this wind, no way. In the previous video, I did mention that I would talk a little bit about how much I'd spent on bits and pieces for this bike. Now, I was going to go through a right rundown of all the parts and comparing them to how much you'd buy and how much I'd save by doing a bit of wheeling and dealing and shopping around, but I'm not going to do that because one, it's a bit boring, and two, I can't be bothered. So, yeah, how much did I spend on this bike? Just under. 3,000 I think it was 2,987 pounds something like that so that includes the frame the wheels all the parts um, I had one or two bits at home which I was able to utilize I haven't included the power meter in that because I haven't bought that yet so that will probably rise to uh, well you're looking at another four to five hundred quid I suppose on top of that when I do get around eventually to buying it but that's it, yeah. I mean, from Canyon, you're looking at four and a half plus, depending on what spec you go for. Uh, so I have saved some money in that respect, and I knew I would.
so we're back at the original spot just before the park ride I've come back here because it seems it's a little bit lower down and therefore the wind doesn't catch the camera as much why do I use Victoria Park some people ask me well it's only five or six miles from my house and to be honest if the weather is a little bit iffy like it is today with the wind it's quite a good one to go to because you can always bail out you know it's not too far from home then and I tend to use it quite a lot in the winter when you can never be sure what the weather's doing uh, you probably saw from the video <laughs> it's quite busy you know lots of runners cyclists walkers dogs kids on bikes so you do have to be a little bit careful although it's a nice park the lap that you take is around three miles or so so you can pretty much ac accurately measure your distance and I quite like it now my ride today has only been around 20 miles it'll probably be somewhere between 25 and 30 by the time I get home I might try and add a little bit on um, to get a real reflection of this bike and this machine and how much speed I've bought because I have no doubt that it has added uh, to my average speed because I could cruise along on it at 18 mile an hour no problem really pushing very little power so aerodynamically it's pretty good um, to get a real comparison what I am going to have to do is take it out on a regular route and see what the average time is and compare that to previous rides but I'll have to do that at a later date I am going to leave the vlog there this week guys I hope you've enjoyed it do leave me some likes and some comments if you're new here and you've just come across this channel do get involved hit that subscribe button and I will see you next week